¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó, amigo? ¿Qué pasó, amigo? Please tell us why today was the worst Halloween of your life. Well, let me get you started here on my little story of the day. Should I get my tea? Yeah, I think we need to get our tea. <laughs> Starting with my day today, I came to school. I thought I was going to rock the hallways of the school. I thought I was going to be the coolest kid. Oh, look at that kid. He has a T-Rex costume. <laughs> no. Mr. Monkey decided it was a great idea to be a seven foot inflatable T-Rex at school today. Carry on, son. That was a bad idea. Mama B, the I told you so, please. <laughs> Approximately two weeks ago, I had a conversation with my son saying, I don't think it's a good idea for you to wear that, that to school. It's not convenient, it's not comfortable, it's awkward. And his response was, Mama, I want to wear it. Mama, please, please, mama. Just let me wear it. And I said, okay, but I'm telling you, it's a big mistake. You are going to inconvenience your teachers, your schoolmates. Don't wear it. And he said, no, mama, please. It's what I want to wear. Let me wear it. I'm like, okay. I'm not going to say I told you so. You don't think you have to. Te dije. Te dijo tu mama that it was not a good idea to right. wear a seven foot. On with the story. I'm yeah. going to fill up my, my water. Okay, on with the story, Mr. Monkey. I got to school with my bag in my hand. My Already my arm felt as if it were going to fall off. When I came into the school, I thought everything was going to be cool. People were saying, oh, a nice costume. That's so cool. They weren't touching anything. They weren't punching me. They weren't punching my my big head right here. They weren't doing anything. So I thought, oh, this could be a good start. I was wrong. I got into the classroom. Props to my teacher because she's one of the best teachers in the world. She loved my whole dinosaur costume, but her being a teacher, like you kind of have to be a teacher not to get fired. So she was like, it may be a little distraction to all of the other kids. And I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. So I took it off. When I went to snack recess, I was like, oh my gosh, now's my chance to put on my super cool costume. And then I went outside. I had like five of my friends being my bodyguards. The whole school like swarming around me and just all my friends like strong arming all of the people. So you had a bunch of kids jumping up and touching and trying to high five your head while you're trying to walk around and be a normal kid at school with yeah. a seven foot inflatable T-Rex costume. Yeah. So you mentioned- Everyone was like trying to bring me down onto the ground. One second, I ran out of tea. Thank you, Mama B. I told him it was a bad idea. Come sit down, come sit. I was so mad. I wanted to punch somebody. Like, like I was, I was literally barking at people, but nobody could hear me because it was just like a plastic thing. After that, I got out of my costume and I, like, everyone was like, boo! boo! <laughs> they were booing you? Yeah. And then what happened when you went to the dance? Were you able to dance? Um, no. I got to the dance, I thought there was a costume contest and that was the only reason. That and the candy that they were selling, those were the only two reasons why I went to the dance. Yeah, they, they don't do costume contests anymore. Everyone gets a participation award. Someone should have told me that. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. So explain yourself, so what was happening during this dance? So I bought my... <laughs> I bought my two candies, and luckily my like my music teacher was right there. She was like at the dance. She was and like she your guard. She was like my bodyguard. She was like pushing kids like out so that they couldn't like touch me. And um, I took the gloves off. I like was eating inside of the dinosaur costume, and I was just eating my candy while everyone was like, "Who's inside that?" Like, cause they couldn't see my face, cause I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't able to dance. That teacher that was bodyguarding me had to go somewhere, so she called over two other teachers. <laughs> By the way, they were the strictest. Like, wow. you don't want to mess with those two teachers. So man. they used like they used teacher resources. Yes. To keep an eye on the kids that were trying to high five your head while you're standing around. And those two teachers were, oh my gosh, they were like barking like, get out here. 
<laughs> okay, so not only were you told by your mother that it wasn't a very good idea to wear a seven foot inflatable T-Rex, you now used valuable resources at school uh, when they could have been teaching other children, maybe protecting other kids, or, or really just being around the school looking after other people. But you had at least two teachers standing beside designated you. Designated to you. Designated to make sure that Mr. Monkey did not get harassed by the other children. Or cause a mob. Even if they weren't even going to touch me or go near me, they're like, hey, hey, get out of here! <laughs> oh, wow. so, so you basically caused a lot of anxiety for teachers as well. I can't really rest them or else my whole thing will deflate. So I was just like this, the whole dance, like this. My hands were ready to fall off. Were there good songs at least? They're amazing songs. Mm -hmm. Like what kind of songs did they play? Uh, PPIP, uh, Juju on that beat, uh, there was uh, Heathens, there was, I don't really know a lot of songs. But were you able to dance to those songs? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the moral of the story? What's the moral of the story? This? All the time, you should listen to your mother. Think before you do. Think before you do. Listen to your mother. And second of all, maybe next time you should wear a costume that your mom and dad used to wear in the 80s. Oh, no thank you. I saw those costumes. Uh, I miss those I costumes. I miss those costumes. Those costumes were so awesome. Remember? Mama B used to be Wonder Woman in the 80s, mm -hmm. and okay. I used to be G.I. Joe, and they were just plastic bags that you wore. And they would rip before you left the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would always sure rip. You'd rip in it, and you'd be like, ah. Oh. Those costumes, they were cheap, mm -hmm. but they were... Terrible quality. Terrible quality, and you had these masks, and the holes weren't big enough. But it was so much fun. So, so moral of the story. Moral of the story. Listen to Mama. Always listen to mama. Say it. Uh, say listen, it. Listen. Say it. Say listen it. to mama. Now say it in Spanish. Comprendo to mama. <laughs> good, good enough. Escuche. Escuche. A la mami. A la mami. Escúchame a mí. Escúchame a mí. No, no escuche a, mí. A, la mama. a la mama. A ti. A ti. <laughs> <laughs>